Hey guys, welcome back to the AWS Cloud Demos. My name is Murli and in today's demo, we will be discussing about AWS Service Catalog. Um, so we will uh, discuss how to automate the AWS Service Catalog portfolio and product deployment by using AWS CDK. Okay, so as you can see in this image, uh, you have the service catalog with these products over here and uh, you, have, uh, you need to have the IAM role for this particular deployment and also we will use the AWS CDK in order to deploy our um, our service catalog okay so what is service catalog so service catalog helps you centrally manage a catalog of services uh, or products uh, that are approved for use in your organization's aws environment so a collection of products is called nothing but a portfolio as you can see in the image and uh, and a uh, portfolio also contains a configuration information um, with service catalog so you can create a customized portfolio for each type of the user in your organization and then grant access to the appropriate portfolio so those users can then quickly deploy any product they need within the within uh, from the port from the portfolio all right um so when do you use uh, service catalog so basically if you have a complex networking infrastructure such as multi region multi account architectures it is recommended that you create and manage service catalog portfolios in a single central account okay so this uh, this particular pattern um, describes how to use aws uh, cdk uh, to automate creation of service catalog portfolios in central account and grant grant the users uh, access okay um and also how service catalog works is by using is by uh, catalog creation uh, you can also do the governance and compliance service catalog helps enforce governance and compliance policies by allowing administrators uh, define who can access which resources and under what conditions okay um, and also uh, cost management, for example, you can centrally, um, by centralizing the provisioning of resources through service catalog, organizations can better manage and control their costs. Okay, so the administrators can set the budget limits and track spending, so while users can see the cost implications of the resources they provision. Okay, um, well, that's uh, that's a high level overview of the AWS service catalog. Um, so, and. Uh, um, I think this is um, this is particularly for the DevOps engineers who are working in an organization where they want to efficiently and effectively manage the products um, in the service catalog. Um, then uh, then they can use this pattern. Um, we have a GitHub repository here in AWS Samples, which is service catalog automation. So I have checked out this project, and I'll paste this link in the description box below. So you copy this link and check out this project and try to do the steps that I'm trying. I will do in this demo okay so i've already logged into my console okay let me go to the service catalog and see what we have here service catalog so we do we don't have any products right now and we don't have any portfolios right now all right um so i have um uh, i will try and create the service catalog here and also that has a couple of products where we will be uh, we will allow the users to launch ec2 instances and also they can quickly launch an auto scaling uh, functionality but in this demo we will only look into the uh, ec2 instance um, how they can provision the products to the end users okay so i have another end user um, this is Murli. this is my main account and i have an end user bobby so i'm gonna log into that account and show you how we, how uh, that particular user can launch a product okay so uh, so check out this project and um, uh, try and uh, work along with me so before you head to the demo yeah please uh, hit that like button please hit that subscribe button um to watch more videos like this and uh, that helps me give that helps me uh, motivate to do more videos okay so okay let's head to the demo uh, here i have already uh, checked out the project which is service catalog app so this is my cdk app all right uh, so i have a couple of templates here template one template two Okay, so I'm going to discuss this templates and configuration um, config.json. Okay, so here I have a setup script and uninstall script, which will automatically uh, set up my environment for me and uh, also uninstall uh, whenever I don't need this service catalog. Okay, so this is pretty handy uh, with this uh, bash script. Okay, um, 
so this is my cdk setup and now if you if you open up the config.json so you will see i have a couple of portfolios decide, uh, described in this json where you can see uh, one is a ec2 product profile another one is auto scaling product profile so i have allowed the users called bobby and a roles admin and a groups called developers who can access who can have uh, the permission to launch the product from the portfolio okay so as an organization this is my uh, central account where i'm trying to manage my portfolio which is murli okay and i have a few users in my organization uh, who belongs to the engineering department of dev side so as a devops engineer i would like to uh, provision the products to my users okay so how would i do that uh, so basically i have uh, the portfolio set up already and i'm allowing the users bobby and allowing the users Bobby, and in 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 a massive scale, if you have a large group of users where you don't you cannot mention them in the users, probably you can use groups or roles, um, so that you will be able to uh, add the users to the particular portfolio. Okay, um, so. If you come here, uh, come down here, so you can see the tag group, cost center environment. So I have given a list of labels where we will see how we can use them. And products, uh, as we discussed, we have two products. One is EC2 profile, like you see EC2 owner and the template uh, path is this. Uh, this is nothing but our cloud formation template, which is template one.json. So you can scroll up. You can see this is our cloud formation template in JSON format where I have web server EC2 instance, I have SSS location, I have different types of EC2 instances. Um, so I hope you get an idea um, by looking at this template and also the template too where we have discussed about auto scaling, right? Uh, so this auto scaling can also be used as a product uh, so that your end user uh, will be able to launch a product. Now in the config.json, you have another product like we've discussed, um, auto scaling product with the deployment stack sets. So we will use CloudFormation stack sets to deploy um, this product, okay? Um, I think I can remove this one. This is an example product, um, which I don't want to show that in this demo. All right, um, so this is my config, uh, which uh, we are ready. Uh, now in the setup.sh, you can see we are using uh, NBX CD, uh, CDK. Um, where you should uh, have your uh, CDK deploy account and CDP, CDK deploy region readily available so that in, in your uh, uh, path variable so that uh, you should uh, bootstrap your CDK application and then you know uh, you can deploy your resources all right uh, so let's open up a terminal all right so I'm already open up my terminal and make sure you run this command which is um, so you should have your 12 digit account number here all right um so it could be uh, it could be your account so make sure you copy your account from here uh, copy it from here and then also make sure you have your cdk default region which is export default us east one and then let's go ahead and run our script sh setup.sh so it is now considering my account uh, as you can see and uh, the region uh, is us east one uh, so now we are trying to bootstrap the environment so it's going to take a minute and then uh, we will deploy it okay so the setup will take care of the deployment as well so as, as you can see the cdk deploy we also run against this config.json, uh, which have these templates where we are trying to deploy our portfolio, our um, uh, our products, and uh, etc. Okay, so let's wait for for this to complete. Um, okay, looks like the CDK service catalog app stack has uh, been deployed. Let's go to our main account. Okay, let's go to cloud formation templates. Our stack must have been deployed already. So you can see the CDK service catalog app uh, stack has been deployed. Uh, you can see our uh, so, um, stack sets. So if I go to service catalog, all right, so now we have EC2 product profile and we have our auto scaling product profile. This is our portfolio, we have two products. So now if you go to product list, you should see our products and now on the products. So I have given permission to the user uh, Bobby, like you have seen here, and also the group's developers. So if I log into uh, 
this user you should be able to see in the products uh, the ec2 product and the auto scaling so if i go um, um, now i can use go to murli bobby and then my password just log in so now i have logged in so you can see the i can see our portfolio here and also in on, under the products so now you you will be able to see the products in here which is um what uh, as an organization as a devops engineer as uh, as an organizational policy so i have allowed this user to launch these products from my portfolio okay so now let's click on this and launch a product so you will see these options this is version one uh, i'm instance type is t to small uh, i have a pretty fine key names uh, my key pairs uh, so i can use that and then also my ssh location it's up to you um my guess i'm just gonna this is for just for the demo so don't worry much about it um all right um and this is the tags that we were discussing about uh, in the previously so if you scroll down so these are the tag options that we have discussed so for example uh i would like to um you know um use the environment dev environment and engineering department and then i'm going to give cost center is some cost center okay so you can customize your tax um, so this uh, so every organization have these cost centers so you might probably use this cost center here as well and uh, that's it um, so now i'm going to launch a product which should shortly launch my ec2 instance um, for this particular user in my organization okay so let's wait for it to launch um, so meanwhile, please don't forget to like this video and please don't forget to subscribe. Also, please do consider uh, commenting in the comment section below and uh, don't forget to share. So let's wait for the EC2 instance. So this will run our template file that I've already shown you um, as our cloud formation template. So which will automatically um, launch the EC2 instance. let's wait for it yeah there you go so successfully launched our ec2 instance now if you go to ec2 so probably i can click here so there you go so this is our ec2 instance which is now running um like you see here so this is now running and so we have launched from our we have launched this product from our portfolio and also you can see the tags over here, uh, the environment is dev, EC2 instance group is engineering, so you can see your cost center, so you can clearly see uh, which EC2 instance is being launched and uh, how. Okay, um, so that's it. Uh, that's pretty much it. So you can take this template, uh, you can you can create your own templates here, you can con you can configure your products in your portfolio and launch that. Okay, so this is uh, this pattern helps you um, f helps you and your organization to uh, seamlessly deploy uh, your uh, products, your organizational products to the end users, whoever is joining new or whoever the users already working. So it is uh, pretty easy to manage the products um, using the service catalog. So I hope you got an idea and I hope you like this video. And uh, I think uh, so what you can do right now is go ahead and if you're not using it uh, and then go ahead and simply run search uninstall.sh so which will automatically uninstall the setup that you have just done. Okay, um, and thank you so much. Um, so just hit Y over here. So that will destroy our stack. Okay, um, I hope you get this idea and please uh, use this template. I will uh, put the link in the description box below, which is this one. So you can use this template, okay? So if you want to automate your AWS service catalog portfolio and product deployment by using AWS CDK, then you will uh, need to use this repository okay so other than that um, yeah and uh, thank you so much and I will see you guys in the next video